Purdy Peacock, Peachicks. Purdy Peacock lived on a beautiful farm with lots of trees and bushes. Everyone would tell him how his farm looked like a lovely park. Purdy loved his life on the farm. Each year the peahens lay eggs and hatch out a few peachicks. Purdy enjoys watching the peachicks run around his farm. One summer day Purdy looked out of his barn and noticed a black shoulder peahen walking around the farm with two cute, fluffy, little yellow peachicks. Purdy was thrilled. He enjoyed watching the peachicks grow up. He also enjoyed watching the peahens take care of the little babies. Raising peachicks is very hard work. It is also a dangerous world for the baby peachicks. There is danger lurking everywhere. In the country there are wild animals and peachicks would be a nice snack for any hungry wild animal. That's just the way the world works. Peacocks eat bugs to stay alive. Without bugs and worms birds would not be able to survive. Birds have to eat. Peacocks also eat all kinds of grains, such as corn, oats, and wheat. One of Purdy's special snacks is dry cat food. Bees are very important to Purdy's farm. There are all kinds of bees. There are bumblebees and honeybees, and there are wasps, too. The bees fly from flower to flower and pollinate crops so that the crops will produce vegetables and fruit. Without the bees to pollinate Purdy's crops, which will produce food, Purdy and his family would not have anything to eat during the long winter months. Just like birds eat bugs, all kinds of wild animals will eat peacocks and rabbits to survive. So raising baby peachicks can be very dangerous. The peahen must constantly keep an eye out for wild animals. She watches for any wild cats in the area. After all, she wants her peachicks to grow up and be healthy peacocks or peahens. During the day, Mommy Peahen takes her peachicks for walks around Purdy's farm. They stop under a tree and nibble on some bird seed that the sparrows and blue jays have thrown to the ground from the bird feeders high in the tree. She will also teach them how to chase, catch, and eat bugs. Purdy always enjoys watching the peachicks chase the bugs. Sometimes the bugs are too big for the babies and mom has to hang on to the bug until it breaks into smaller pieces. And sometimes the baby peachick does not want to let go and mommy lifts the bug off the ground, peachick and all. That is always fun to watch. Then mom will let the peachick rest and take a nap. The peachick sleeps under mom, or at the very least gets as close as possible to mom to keep warm and to keep safe, too. Mom always keeps an eye out for wild animals or any danger that may be around. When the peachicks are very little, the peahen will take the baby to a safe and secluded area to sleep for the night. The peachicks cuddle up to mom and get under her wings and go to sleep for the night. In the morning, the peahen will once again take the peachicks for a walk around Purdy's farm to look for bugs and eat bird seed under the big tree. Then once again, they will rest in the afternoon until it is time for bed. When the peachicks get older, the peahen will take the peachicks on longer walks through the garden and under the fruit trees. There are always some good bugs under the fruit trees and in the garden. The peachicks begin to grow bigger and bigger every day. At bedtime, the peahen decides to sleep near the barn and on top of the cages. The peahen will fly to the top of the cage and wait for the peachick to fly up after her. That is the most dangerous time for the peachick. If a wild cat would be around, it just might try to catch the peachick and eat it. One day, while Purdy was walking in the garden, he saw a wild cat try to get the peachick, and the cat was trying to climb up onto the cage. Purdy saw this and started running and screaming for the cat to run away. Luckily for the peachick, the wild cat ran away, and the peachick was no longer in danger. That was too close for comfort, Purdy thought to himself. But the peahen must know what she is doing and what it takes to keep her babies alive. The peachick kept growing with each day, and every day Mommy Peahen would take the baby for walks all around Purdy's farm. One day, Purdy noticed that the peahen and her peachick were resting on top of a pickup truck. The sun was shining and the black truck must have been a nice and warm place to rest. After a long night of rain, Purdy could hear the peahen yelling. Purdy wondered if a wild animal was around and might have gotten the little peachick. Purdy went to check and saw the peahen standing near some bushes hollering at her peachick. The peachick must have gotten cold from the cool rain overnight and from walking in the tall, wet grass. The peachick did not want to move. Mom was not happy with the peachick and kept hollering for the baby to follow her. But it did not. Mom would walk several steps away from the chick, hoping it would follow, but it did not. So Mom had to go back to the chick and stay with it for a while. Finally, the chick decided to follow Mom, but it was not moving very quickly. After resting in the sun for a while, the chick must have warmed up and was once again ready to follow Mom for their walk around Purdy's farm. 
the peahen and peachick would walk all over Purdy's farm. They would walk in the garden. They would walk under the trees and on top of some old bricks, and they would always nibble on the bird seed under the big tree. She would take the peachick for a walk around the barn, and they would fly on top of the cages to rest. As the peachick grows, Mom continues taking care of it. Eventually, the peachick will grow up to be a beautiful peahen or a proud and regal peacock. It is always fun to watch the peahen and see the cute little pea chicks. Life on the farm is always an adventure. Purdy sat in the shade of his trees on his beautiful farm and would dream about the pea chicks. <laughs>